the starling right here. Isn't that gorgeous? There we go, it's going right down to the terrapin. I've no idea why it should be doing that. Seems a bit odd to me. Isn't that colour gorgeous? Now oh, the terrapin is just underneath it there. Hmm. Wonderful. Like I say, I can't really figure out why it would want to be there. Safe to say, maybe it thought the alarm call, you know, when they see things that want to eat them, the alarm call, and terrapins do grab birds when they come down to puddle, so maybe it's just doing a bit of a security check around the place. Isn't that special? I think that's just one of the best sightings I've had of a virtual starling. It's only sitting about 10 feet from us. Hello, green eyes, and you say that colour is absolutely beautiful. You're agreeing with me, it is beautiful, but what's so interesting is that it's not colour at all. Isn't that amazing? It's not a colour, it's an iridescence, which means that although to our eyes it looks colourful, it's reflecting blues and greens and purples and some blacks, but it's actually a clever trick of light played by keratin, and by uh, melanin crystals and air pockets in between the well, in between the cells of the feathers and the barbs of the feathers, and those reflect certain wavelengths of light. So in this case, blue and green and purple. But there's no pigment that makes the bird that colour. Isn't that amazing? Now it is uh, doing its best to sing for us a New Year's song but a virtual starling doesn't have the best voice in the world, I'm afraid. Now, we're about to go back to television. In 40 seconds. Now, I hope you've also been enjoying Brent Leo's smile.